morning ladies and gentlemen mysterious tv present to you tell your story free your mind you know this weekend was a very wonderful weekend i enjoyed myself i, I, I had my niece birthday her sixth birthday and she had fun i had a ball at her birthday party because she was happy and everybody had a good time. See a lot of friends that I haven't seen in a long while. You know, it was a very good, good, good reunion. Re, 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 I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it was a good meetup. You know what I mean? Good get together. But the thing I want to talk about is. You look at people on the house side and you think, oh, they doing this and they have this and they this and they that and they, and you really, really wouldn't know what a person really going through until you take the time to really observe and listen and pay attention to, 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 to a lot of the things that are going on in your community, else you won't, you won't find out. I met some people the other day where I know them from a long time but I, I never really talked to them till the other day I, I, I talked to them and I I was hurt so bad that I got speechless you know I know I have a problem I know I'm going through a lot of stuff but when I see this, it really, really, really tear me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm a street nigga, but it, it really tear me up. Where it, it, it made me cry. You know, it's a family that their house caught on fire a couple months back. You know, and they lost everything. Everything. Things that it take them six years to put together and accomplish and have in less than six minutes it was all gone you know and it's it, it's bad for them right now because they have to be you know they're trying to get a place to stay but it, it, it's messed up I don't understand it I don't want to say too much on it but I don't understand it and I don't think it's right you know they going through a lot and the neighbors giving them a hard time. It doesn't matter what a person do or what a person go through or what a person. You have to have a heart. You know what I mean? You have to have a heart because even though you might not like your neighbor, and you all have the difference of words and difference of agreements or whatever. When it comes to Helping another person, like for instance, fire, rape, kidnap, beating, fighting, whatever the hell it is. I'll be the first to say, yo, man, here's my hand, man. Here's my shirt, man. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't take it, man, because it, it messed up the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? So what I did yesterday was it hurt so bad I invite them over. You know, I cook them a meal, a proper meal. You know, we sit out, we laugh, we talk, we have a drink. You know, and we enjoy us to eat each other. And when I talk to them, these people was the nicest people, man. You would not know. That's why they say you do not judge book a book by the cover, cause you don't know what a person going through or what they have to do to get to the point or the destination they is in life. You know what I mean? But all I'm asking you guys to do, you know what I'm saying? Keep keep them in your prior for me. You know what I'm saying? You trying to trying to help them to get back on their feet as best as possible. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have much but I'm putting together a little package that I could, I, I could, you know, give to them so they could be all right, you know. 
I go by and I check up on them and the dogs and everything. Make sure that the dog have waters. Make sure the dogs have food. Because these people are good people. They are good people. You know? But end up in a bad situation, you know? And I figure... It could have been my mother, it could have been my father, it could have been my 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 brother, it could have been my family, you know? And even though my family don't really want nothing to do with me, I believe it's it's in my best interest and it's my duty to make sure that my family always good. You know? So like I was saying, man, say a prayer, man, and we gonna try to uplift and try to help, man. The mysterious TV. I'm sitting on my couch, telling you how I feel, man. And like I said, everybody could talk a lot, but talking don't mean nothing until you start acting. You know what I'm saying? And when I say acting, I don't mean no like movie thing. I mean. Act out on the things that need to be done, the things that need to see, the things that need to to be taken care of, you know? So we could build a stronger community and a better community. Like I say, man, it's Mysterious TV, and we got plenty more to come. I'm going to go by, I'm going to catch some pictures and some videos of the dogs. I'm going I'm to hang out with them for a little bit. Probably get a few interviews, you know, a couple things, making sh make sure they're good and everything, and then, you know, it's what I do, you know? Like I say, man, you see somebody, man, don't judge it. Don't judge them. Don't ever judge a person, man, because you never know what a person go through or going through to be where he at. So you never judge a person, you know what I'm saying? Always... Always think positive about another person. If you're a just as I, you want another person to think positive about you. And that's how the world turns. Mysterious Phoebe. Mark.